Softball opening their first MAC tournament in a decade, taking on Niagara. Siena coming in as the number one seed for the first time in program history. They waited 10 years for a spot in this tournament, but they would need to wait some more time, over four hours to be exact. The first game of the day was delayed by rain that also traveled up to Poughkeepsie. Grounds crew is using anything to get the field ready. Towels, dirt, and even cups as you see the Maris team helping out. So the team waited and tried to kill the time. Supposed to start at 2, it actually would start at 6. But the show must go on. So the Saints taking on number 4, Niagara. Pitcher of the year, Jen Sensano. And it was all Niagara early. Sensano would have 6 strikeouts in her first 9 batters. She set a new program record in strikeouts in this game. Offensively, the Purple Eagles snuck across a couple of runs. Becky Zill up the middle. That would score a run. Same inning. Actually, next batter, Alexis Wayne. She drives home a couple. Throw gets behind the catcher, and things are not looking good for Sienna. They're down 3-0 in the third. But then they found some momentum. And of course, it started with Shannon Jones. Doubles off the wall. First run of the night scores. It's only 3-1 Niagara. A few batters later, Alyssa Lancaster, she singles up the middle. Jones would come around from second and beat the throw home. It's a one-run game in the sixth. And then the darkness came. The game would be suspended and picked up at 10 a.m. the next day. So they have to go get a good night's rest and say, hey, it's a new day. Game would be resumed about 14 hours later with the Saints still trailing 3-2. to two. Kept that momentum going, though. Jessica Jo Sandrini would help her cause. She ties the game at 3. We're going to the 7th. But Niagara fought back. Wayne once again drives home a pair. She had 4 RBIs. And while it's just tough to score 3 against the pitcher of the year, made some noise in the bottom of the frame, but this fly ball ends it. And Sienna would have to make their way in the loser's bracket as they fall to Niagara 6-3. So let's get to that game. It's Siena against Fairfield. Second game of the day for the Saints. And coincidentally enough, it's against Fairfield, the team that they shared the regular season championship with. Scenario is easy. Winner moves on to play again today. And the loser is the first team eliminated. Siena gives the ball to Sandrini again. And it was a pitcher's duel. Sandrini not really hit hard at all. Second inning, Kimi Carrada with the squeeze play. Runner scores, stags up 1-0 early. That's really all Ray Ball needed. Got some pretty good defense behind her. Kristen Felicia would rob Shannon Jones of a hit. That retires the side. And every time Sienna tried to get some momentum, the Fairfield defense killed it. Megan Bowles hits sharply into an inning-ending double play. Saints still trail. But now it's Sienna's time to shine on the defensive front. Ball on at third, but Sandrini with a nice play. Fairfield would not score in that inning. But they would in the sixth. Lauren Felicia gives Fairfield a 3-0 lead with the single up the middle. And Siena is down in their final three outs. And this is how the historic season would end. Popped up, Felicia gets to it. And Siena is shut out for the first time since April 6th. Interestingly enough, that was their first MAC series. But arguably the best season in Siena history ends with a 3-0 loss in the MAC tournament.